Another OneNote announcement this morning on the Office 365 blog. We're here to tell you what's happening with OneNote and what you need to do about it. There are really two key parts to this announcement and we'll link to the blog post below. Number one, as we expected, the OneNote app, formerly known as OneNote 2016 or OneNote Desktop, will be updated to include the best features of OneNote for Windows 10. For example, better inking, a modern interface, and some new navigation options that we'll talk about in a moment. That's in addition to the better synchronization and performance improvements that are currently rolling out. Number two, support for OneNote for Windows 10 will phase out in 2025. That's four years away, once the OneNote team has had plenty of time to deliver a better experience in the OneNote desktop app. You can probably keep using OneNote for Windows 10 past that point, but that's when official support will end. So the quick takeaway for you is this, keep using the OneNote that you're currently using. But if you're using OneNote for Windows 10 like me, keep an eye on the OneNote desktop version over the next 12 months to see what improvements happen. We'll tell you about the changes as they get released too, so make sure that you're subscribed. When OneNote Desktop starts working better than OneNote for Windows 10, it'll be pretty easy to switch across since your notebooks will be already in the cloud. In fact, sometime in the second half of 2022, Microsoft will send you an invitation to move across to the OneNote Desktop app. The invitation will walk you through the process and it will check and migrate your notebooks into the OneNote Desktop app. So let's talk about the changes that the OneNote team are teasing for us here with some mock-up screenshots. As you can see, these screenshots really focus on one of the key differences and pain points between OneNote for Windows 10 and OneNote Desktop, and that is the navigation. In fact, if you look at the screenshots, that's the only thing that's really changed in these mockups, the navigation. There is a slight color change in line with the new Office 365 design for Windows 11. The title bar is no longer colored, and the search box has moved up to the top toolbar consistent with the rest of Office but the ribbon toolbar itself looks nearly identical to the current desktop app. So they're really not teasing any changes there at this stage. In fact, I think they're deliberately sharing low resolution screenshots because they don't want to focus on that too much in detail, at least not yet. I do expect that the toolbars in OneNote desktop will be modernized over the next 12 months and that would need to include tools like Dictate. However, these screenshots just focus on the big issue, which is navigation. The current OneNote desktop navigation was designed all the way back in 2002. It includes a notebook list on the left-hand top corner, which can be pinned open, sections across the top and pages down the right-hand side. I believe that in future versions of OneNote desktop, you'll be able to continue to use that navigation structure if you're familiar with it. But there are limitations with that navigation structure that we'll discuss in more detail over the next couple of videos. It's tricky for new users to learn, and it's not consistent with OneNote Online, OneNote for Mac, OneNote on iOS and Android. So having the option of using a left-based navigation as depicted here will make it easier for new users to pick it up and it will make it easier to use OneNote across multiple platforms. As you can see, there are two screenshots, both showing the pages available on the left. In fact, you can already do this in the OneNote desktop app and that leads me to suspect that you'll be able to retain pages on the right but the mockups show two different options for sections. The first shows the sections across the top, just like they are currently, and the unpinned notebook drop-down list above the pages on the left. The second screenshot would address one of the pain points that I have when I'm using OneNote for Windows 10, and that is having access to the sections inside of other notebooks, so that you can drag a page from your current notebook and drop it into another notebook. These screenshots are clearly labeled as mockups though, so there'll be more to come on this for sure. And let me reiterate, there is nothing to do right now. Continue to use the OneNote version that you prefer on Windows. This announcement is simply letting everyone know what we suspected was coming, but way out in advance. This announcement does cause me a couple of problems though, because I've got two new videos coming out on the differences between the two apps. We'll update those videos and you'll see them over the next couple of weeks. We've also got a comprehensive history of OneNote video in the works too, so stay tuned. And just in case you hadn't heard, we're releasing a free OneNote course here in YouTube starting on September the 1st. There'll be a course for OneNote Desktop and OneNote for Windows 10. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get access to those videos as we release them.